Welcome to the Auslink for UPS Pro configuration demonstration. In this segment, we'll review the setup options related to writing information back to QuickBooks after the transaction has been completed in UPS WorldShip. On my computer, I already have Auslink configured to integrate with QuickBooks Premier, but it's worth pointing out that the following steps pertain to QuickBooks Pro, Premier, and Enterprise. The Write Back Setup options can be accessed within Auslink by clicking Setup, then clicking Shipping, and then finally clicking the Configure Business Rules button. The lower right quadrant of this screen is designated for all the options related to the Write Back of shipment information. This includes the Write Back of shipment date, carrier service and order weight, and package tracking numbers. Auslink also offers flexibility in how shipment rates can be written back to QuickBooks. We can set the rates to write back to the description section of the QuickBooks invoice, or we can have the rates written back to the rate column, thus causing the shipment cost to be included in the total of the QuickBooks invoice. When selecting this option, you'll need to associate the charges to an item that exists in the QuickBooks item file. A commonly used item name for this option is shipping. The last option in this section allows you to determine whether WorldShip list rates or negotiator rates will be written back. Now with my write back option selected, I'll process a transaction and verify the information that is sent back to QuickBooks. I'll click OK to get back to the main screen. Highlight my shipping tab. Here I'll type in an invoice from QuickBooks and click the lookup button. WorldShip will be populated with the appropriate information. I'll process the transaction. The label prints out. Now when I go back to QuickBooks and view the invoice that we had just processed, you can see that the shipment date, the shipment service, weight and tracking number have been written back to the description column. You'll also notice that the shipping charges have been placed in the amount field and the total amount of the invoice has been updated. For more information on Auslink, please visit ozdevelopment.com.